Hi guys, this video is a kind of experiment. It's my first in English. So I would like to know from my German followers if they like it even though it's in English and from my English audience if my English is good enough. The story is about the three microlight airplanes you can see in the background. They got during the last years faster and more complex and uh, there will be a new one in some weeks. I hope you will like it. These first photos and videos were taken during my first lessons. I did them on a Comco Icarus C42 in Germany a very popular microlight because it is uh, easy to fly and quite robust. On my vacation in Croatia I took a lesson on a Viper SD4 and then in the south of Germany in Unterwössen on an Eurostar. My first experience over the Alps sitting in a microlight airplane. After I got my license I decided to buy a breezer. It is an airplane engineered in Germany, in fact in Schleswig-Holstein, in the north of Germany, almost in Denmark. I saw the plane many months ago when it belonged to an aviation club from Soest, a town close to Dortmund. But they had a landing damage, the nose gear was broken, so the breezer was repaired in the factory and offered to new clients. That was my chance to get it. When I bought it, it got into very good condition. The aluminum was polished and shined brilliantly. The handing over was performed by the factory as like as a new one. But to keep it shiny it was necessary to polish periodically. I had many very nice flights with my breezer, some with my children to the North Sea Islands. The breezer is a very good natured plane, easy to fly, well natured. From Münster where I live it's just one hour by microlight to the North Sea Islands. I was the sole owner but had three guys who paid every year for a fixed amount of charter hours. That was good for me because I had a planable contribution to the costs and good for the three guys because they had an almost always available and well maintained airplane for a reasonable price. After two years I decided to sell the plane and to search for a fast one with one of the charter guys, Nico, who wished to be part of the new owner community. A very nice fellow from Munich, Christian, bought the Breezer. We brought the airplane to the Aero, to Friedrichshafen, where he picked up the plane. The new aircraft we found was a FK-14 also engineered in Germany and produced in Poland. It had a Rotex 112 ULS with 100 horsepower. The Breezer just had 80 horsepower. It was very well equipped with two Dynan screens and a Garmin 695. A friend of mine came with me to check the aircraft a really expert for Rotex engines and for FK airplanes. So it was a good deal and a really nice microlight. During the first weeks we haven't had a parking space in the hangar in Münstertechte, so we had to disassemble the wings and put the airplane in the hangar of the front. Then we moved to the airfield Hamm Lippewiesen. Finally, we got the opportunity to hangar the plane in Münstertechte. We changed the Garmin 695 for an iPad with SkyMap and thought it was the better solution for navigation. We had some really nice flights with the FK-14. It's a really fast plane and very nice for traveling. The luggage compartment of the FK-14 is really big, so it was very, very easy to get all the stuff with us. Of course, we went many times to the Northern Sea Islands. With a 100 horsepower engine, it took just about 50 minutes. I've forgotten to mention, the Breezer just had 80 horsepower. 
The cruise speed was about 170 or 180 and with the FK14 it was easy to go 200 or 220. With full open throttle even about 240 or 245 kilometers per hour. In 2018, we planned a trip with some friends to Croatia. On the way to Croatia, we met Christian, the guy from Munich who bought the Breeza. It was really nice to meet him and to see the Delta Mike Foxhot India Tango again. These pictures were taken in Fürstenzell where we were allowed to camp and to join a barbecue of the local club. The next morning we crossed the Alps with beautiful weather. For me it was the first time and a really great impression. The first stop south of the Alps was Slovenia, Portoroz International Airport. The next day we overflew the Konati Islands. Our destination was Va, a small island close to Split with a gravel airstrip. After this very nice trip, we decided to search for a new airplane, an airplane with retractable gear. So the FK-14 was sold to an aviation club in Austria. Some weeks later we found a Pioneer 300. It's a Mercolite from Italy, from Alpi Aviation. For me the sitting position was not good enough and we thought that the space for luggage was not big enough. So we brought the airplane to the producer to Italy, to Alpi Aviation, to change the seats and to enlarge the luggage compartment. When it came back from Italy, we were really, really proud. The very special military style design was made by the previous owner. It is made out of foil, so it can be removed easily. The Pioneer 300 with retractable gear is a very fast airplane. It goes easily 250 km per hour. The control is well balanced and sporty. Nevertheless, it is very good natured and even getting into stall can be recognized and controlled easily. The Delta Mike India India Zulu brought us 2019 to many nice destinations including Czechia, Slovakia, Slovenia and Italy. Even though the Pioneer 300 is a very fast plane, reliable, matured, we decided to buy a new one. So the Pioneer 300 is still for sale. 
The main reason is the sitting position is still not perfect for me. I am 1 meters and 90 centimeters tall and on traveling and very long flights it is not comfortable for me. If you would like to have more information about the Pioneer 300, follow the link above or search for it on plane check. And now, as I have mentioned in the beginning, we have ordered a new plane and it is a VL3 Evolution. The VL3 Evolution is produced by a Belgian company in the Czech Republic. It consists mainly of carbon fiber. It was not easy to decide. We were fluctuating between the Dynamic WT9 and the VL3, both very fast, high-quality side-by-side seaters. But uh, at the end, the very good contact to the seller was decisive. They were open-minded to all our ideas concerning design, equipment, interior, and try to fulfill all our wishes and they were very patient with us. By the way, this is a new demonstration plane of JMB Germany with a turbocharged Rotex 914. We will probably get the aircraft in July or August. And I would really like to show you many steps of production and so I hope to get uh, many images from the producer during the next weeks. I will come to an end now. I hope you like this episode, so please give me a like and subscribe if you haven't. Bye bye, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.